Hi there, this is Michael Lee. The subject for this week is urbanism, an introduction to urbanism, urban design, and how to draw urban uh, designs. So why do you need to know this? Well, basically you need to have a broad spectrum of uh, different drawings in your personal portfolio, not just to make you a better architectural illustrator, but to get little cogs spinning in your mind, to make you uh, understand that uh, you can basically draw and design a lot of things. These drawings look a lot simpler than they actually are to make. Be addressing this little uh, batch of different buildings. The design brief says you can choose the, the height you want them to be at. You need to throw in a, a separate element, probably a dominant vertical element here in the middle, and also draw two perspectives. So this drawing over here, it's fairly decent from a line drawing standpoint. We've got like a tower here in the middle. This axonometric probably want to uh, 500. Or wanted 200, I think. This is a 50 by 70 centimeter design sheet, so it's a fairly large drawing. And you've got a little perspective here which looks quite bad, it's out of proportion, bad line drawing. If you see more of it here, I don't know what this is supposed to be, it just looks weird. I've got a little guy on a bike here, again, a bit weird. These trees are sort of uh, out of context because uh, with one uh, dominant vertical element like this, you need to sort of have the whole area around it just simple and uh, probably tiled just to keep uh, a bit of order in your work. The next example is a bit more detailed. So you've got a little tower here. All these uh, blocks are slightly taller. There's uh, quite a bit of detailing here. This tower's got multiple elements, facades and stuff like that. You've got these little volume intersections glass going on the interior of this, not bad. Shifting to drawing urbanism is just hard for your mind to grasp the first time around, so you have a bit of trouble when uh, having to draw something like this if you're used to sketching uh, different uh, buildings. Uh, so here we've got the visual of the tower, quite detailed, it's lacking some bits but it's not that bad. We also got like a street view perspective here. Yeah, interesting, you've got tiling that gives it a nice bit of depth. It could use a bit more detailing. And you've got a nice uh, detailing of uh, human scale. This is probably a very beginner drawing, you know, one of the first drawings of uh, urban design that this uh, particular student has done. Don't forget to use uh, different materials. I've covered them in uh, building design tutorials. We've got like glass and transparency, and you can also throw in one of these little accents, like color accents to make uh, your design look a bit more realistic. This is slightly better. So I got a tower, this uh, area walkway connected to the tower. Interesting mix of color. You've got a nice color composition here. This red part, which looks like it's been done in Photoshop, where you go and de desaturate some uh, areas of your drawing, because the shadow bits are red and gray, but they look good nonetheless. You've got quite a bit of the detailing here. You've got this nice part over here, and you've got a good solid perspective. This is quite impressive for a 50 by 70 centimeter drawing because you've got a lot of detailing. You've got the people over here walking. Very good uh, use of entourage to uh, focus on spatial depth. So it's not just enough to uh, draw these buildings. You need to throw in human scale. So you need to have entourage, even in the accent metrics, because they, they look fairly good. And this is a work in progress over here. It's fairly, fairly weird perspective. It's got a good foreground. This part over here looks fairly well, the reflection and a different type of uh, tiling. Overall, a bit better. Transparency works fairly well. You can see through these glass parts over here, even in the axo, so it looks quite interesting. Next up, another beginner drawing. This whole area here looks interesting. These little drawers, you can uh, use them as a uh, sort of like background for a weird looking tower, which is the uh, vertical element. This part is missing entourage and a bit more detailing. You can obviously throw in a lot of uh, reflections because these look fairly well. Throwing in reflections is going to uh, add that bit of uh, more info. Just like here. It's going to be quite hard for you to make the shift between drawing buildings and uh, drawing an urban area because it's a different scale. Your mind is not going to be used to it the first time around. There might be a bit of a perspective uh, problem here. The horizon line is uh, a bit high because it implies these buildings being a lot uh, smaller than they actually are. So out of all these drawings out, I choose uh, this one with the amount of uh, detailing over here. And this one, but it's clear. It looks really clear. It's got a lot of uh, lighting effects. It's got proper entourage and stuff like that. It's quite sensitive. It's got proper image compositions and also uh, a nice line drawing. And it's fairly hard to draw something like this 
to the scale of an image. But you'll get used to it, it doesn't take that much time to learn it. And after probably uh, four or five of these urban design lessons, you'll be very well off in uh, basically drawing any sort of large scale drawing. If you found this video useful, don't forget to share it with your friends if they want to learn drawing as well. And subscribe to the channel, there's going to be many many more lessons on their way. This is Michael Neetu, you take care and draw nicely.